Leviticus 19 suggests an opportunity to explore just what it means to be holy. Is there a difference between the holiness that characterizes God and that to which God summons God's adopted sons and daughters? God reveals at least part of God's holiness in the laws, but we've come to assume that a holy person is someone who actually prays, reads the Bible and goes to church a lot. For many of us, we read these verses. Do not steal, you shall not deal falsely, do not lie to one another. We understand it, but deep down, what if we are so tired, drained and dry that we feel like we are being overwhelmed by our own problems? How are we to muster up enough strength to care for one another? Jesus' answer for us is in a story familiar to us. It is the story of the Good Samaritan that hinges on the action of loving our neighbor. At first read, the compassion and love of the Samaritan for a stranger is impressive enough, but there's more. When Jesus told the story, his listeners would be amazed because he spoke of a Samaritan showing such love and compassion. The Samaritans and Jews did not have a good relationship. In this radical story, Jesus was extending this neighborly holiness beyond just Israel. This same charge and call for the church today. This chapter is meant to show us how we ought to live but also serves to remind us that we cannot live it perfectly on our own strength. Let's stop looking at the limits of our own resources and effort. Instead, let's look to the one who was our good Samaritan. As we continue to live as the people of God, let's trust that as we offer up whatever we have in obedience, God will work 